and I'll touch upon it on some other operators, but it isn't something you do off the bat, is it? It's basically, you know, I don't have to do anything extra on Windows. I don't have to do anything extra on Mac. I just click it and I can play it. And that's what we need to get from Linux. So I can word process, I can OBS. I've got some email. Okay, let's click this and see what happens. Because basically that's gonna go any second. Three downloading three items completed. And then I must have wandered off. There you go, I'm just doing, I'm doing a voiceover on this. I must have like wandered off to go and get a cup of tea because this was going to take for ages. So while there's no pictures, I should, you know, we just, we'll just talk. Um, we'll just listen to what's going on here. Come on. Where am I? I'm nowhere near the keyboard. I'm going to come back any second. I should edit this out. I can't be bothered. Here we go, come back. So there we go. Click play. And now this should launch the game but we've got a giant black screen. Okay, so that's not great. That's not um, a friendly user experience now. And obviously if you're on Linux, how do I get out of this screen? How do I get out of this screen? I found an interesting thing. If you hit the, there's like a, a button on the keyboard, just to make sure it's not crashed, you press it's the calculator button. So any second I may bring up the calculator, that's not working, is it? And bring up the calculator, just to check. Now I know the mouse is moving, there it is. I found the calculator button, so control delete and it logs you out. There you go. And log out. Okay. And then we log back in again. Obviously some graphics problem going on there. And we're back. We're back screening. No, we're not. So yeah, so let's just try that again, maybe I think. Let's have a look. Files. Oh no. I think we moved on. I think we decided not to do that. Let's do a quick have a go with DaVinci Resolve.